Hi, this is Amy, and I want to give you some ideas about getting started using Prezi. So for me, it's not the tool that's the most difficult thing. It's actually thinking of a way to format the information in that big empty space. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you some of the Prezi's that I've made that I ended up happy with in the long run. So this one uses a combination of some graphics that were handmade by a graphic designer friend of mine but that you could find something similar like this on the web and the built-in frames and circles um, which I used as O's in Google here to build a structure for this Prezi. So I really like how this one turned out. I've used this same presentation many times for many different things. I like the aspect that in Prezi you can save a copy of it and you can change the path and you can use it for a lot of different things so I'm gonna just show you how this one kind of looks here so you can see in this circle right here which is a Prezi frame <clears throat> I have all the different default applications of Google Apps and then I used a an arrow down here at the bottom and then another frame smaller to highlight some of the extra features and then over here I have a whole documents training so sometimes I just use this staff development for to just talk about Google Apps and then add-ons and then sometimes I use it to do a whole documents training so I have all these screenshots and everything down here that I can zoom in on alright I'm gonna pause for a second and then I'll show you a different one So this one is an entirely different type of Prezi, and this one is made almost entirely of graphics. So what I did with this one is I found a very large image of an iPad that somebody had uploaded to the internet, and I cut out, or actually I think I used this background from my real iPad, and I covered whatever was there in the background, and then I used the Prezi frames as the little apps and I organized my presentation like that through the apps. I like how this one turned out. I think it looks pretty clean, pretty clean. Even though like for example in here, I've got this really giant, you know, resume posted there and a link. I think overall when you take a look at the the Prezi it's pretty clean looking. So, let me pause and then I'll show you another example that's kind of different from these two. So here's another one, and um, I've gotten probably more requests to share this one than any other one I've ever made. And this one was actually modified by my friend Carrie. But in this one, I just used a road. So the background image is just this road image. And then um, what we did is add some text on top of that, and then these signs are also separate images. So I took those from the internet, and I erased whatever was in the middle of those signs and then we added the the text that we wanted on top of those signs and this format has been used multiple times by quite a few different people so not really sure why this one ended up being so popular but it was uh, some of those signs have videos embedded and then this one down here is um, just another day of the same staff development but we wanted kind of a different look to differentiate that. Alright, another pause and we'll look at one more. Alright, so this last one is is really simple. So this is just a giant image of a spoon and then I took a uh, cereal box which did say tricks on it and I just used a photo editing program to color that all red in the background and put a Google logo over the top of that. Um, and then I created circles around that using the Prezi tools and I added the text into the circles and kind of turned it around so that the Prezi will turn a little bit when you move through it. So hopefully that gives you some ideas of what kind of format you want to use to get started and now we'll look at the Prezi tools themselves. So when you first start out with Prezi now, there are all of these beautiful templates. So you really don't have to be a Prezi master to start using Prezi. You can just choose any one of these templates. Another thing that you can do is go to the Prezi site and find 
templates that other people have put out there. I want to show you an example of one that I shared. So this is a pirate treasure map Prezi and you can see right up here it says allow copy. So if you wanted to use all the graphics that actually my friend Alicia who's right down here <clears throat> made a couple of years ago and uh, I recently put into this Prezi for anybody who wanted to copy it then you could copy this Prezi over and make it your own and change it in whatever way you wanted to. But what we're going to do now is start off with just a blank Prezi. So I've saved a graphic to my desktop that's really perfect for making a Prezi with some text in it. And I'm going to choose my zebra tool up in the top left and now click insert and image and select files. And I'm going to navigate to the desktop of my computer and find the picture. So I'll click open and this warning will come up if you upload a very large image. You can usually resize. I actually haven't had problems with really large images, so you might want to try it because you do want it to be really big. You want to be able to zoom around in the image. So I'm going to make it pretty big and, um, and then we're going to work on within these bubbles. So the relative sizes aren't so important. If you get it all zoomed out too far and you need to zoom back in, you can always hold down shift on your keyboard and then drag a box over everything you've got in your Prezi. That will select everything and then you can resize it all at one time. So you don't really have to worry about the relative sizes in a Prezi. So as I zoom in and out um, on my Prezi, you can see how right now it's opaque, kind of like it's got a covering over it and here it's you can see all the bright colors. So if I want to manipulate this object in Prezi, I've got to get a proper zoom level on it so that I'll be able to click and get the zebra tool on the element that I want to select. So I'm going to zoom in and then we're going to start putting some text within these clouds. So now I'm going to click um, back to my right tool up here and then when I try to click back here to type on this I'm not getting any word options and it's because of my zoom level so I'm gonna type right over to the side and then I'll just drag my text over onto my bubbles so maybe this is my introduction <clears throat> and I'll click OK and now this text I can click hold and drag and I can now I'm gonna click again on top of that text and pull my mouse in on this level of the zebra tool so I'm clicking holding and dragging or you can click the minus sign to get that text to the size that you want so let's say that maybe you're gonna put your introductory materials right inside this um, cloud you wanna be able when you're zooming through your Prezi to zoom in on the whole cloud even if you have some text of different sizes in here so maybe you put your name and maybe you put that inside. Well, when you create your path later on, if you just make it go to welcome, you may not be able to see your name and the other information that you wanna add. And I just double clicked on that to get that to pop up and be editable again. All right, so let's use a frame now on this cloud and we'll use a hidden frame so that when we come back and make a path on this element we'll be able to go to this whole entire cloud at one time and see all of that text. We want our, that to come up as what viewers see on the screen. So in the next cloud let's put some um, images in here and sort of have some presentation materials inside this cloud. So what we're going to do now is import a PDF so we do this through insert and file and now we'll navigate to our PDF that we're going to import and I'm just going to use this PDF I've got right here it's not really relevant to anything but you'll see how to import that PDF and then link to it in your Prezi alright so now here are two pages of the PDF that I just imported and I want to make them smaller yet keep them exactly the same size so I'm going to hold down command or sorry shift and select both of these and shift works on the Mac or the PC and now I'm gonna drag in that center area to make them smaller now I'm gonna select only one by clicking on it and I'm gonna slightly turn it 
and now I'll turn the other one the opposite way. Now maybe I also want to put some text in here. Notice because of my zoom level I can't just click there and start to type. I would have to either zoom out to type on top of that or type over to the side because of the, the zoom level I've got set right now. So I'll type my word over here and then I'll drag my word over and make it the proper size. Once again I'll take a hidden frame and put it around this whole bubble so that when I start this talk I'll be able to talk about this whole area and then zoom into the different elements. So let's start looking at how we're going to design our path. So I think that for this presentation what I'm going to do is start with my welcome right here. So I click the zebra tool and then the path and I'll click once on that first frame. Then I think I'll go to a, a bigger view of that. And then let me go up to this hidden frame and the word forms. And then I'll go to page one and then page two. So then I think I'll zoom all the way out and see my whole view. And I'm going to have to zoom way out so that I can select this whole entire thing. So let's now go and look and see what that looks like. So I'll go to show mode. So I know you can't see this whole giant thing because it makes it full screen on my computer. But the first thing that I saw in show mode was the whole giant cloud because remember we have that hidden frame. Now it's going to get even bigger. So on my screen I'm seeing something that looks kind of like this because we put that on the welcome. Now we're going to go up to our whole forms cloud, our next hidden frame and then the next one will be to the word forms and then to page one and then to page two and then our last one will be our whole entire image which for me fills my whole screen so I hope that helps you get started with Prezi if you have more questions about this please let me know again my username on Twitter is fried technology you can always tweet me there and I'll be glad to help you as soon as I get time and um, I hope that helps and have a great day.